98.5 of you are not subscribed. If you guys do want to help me reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, definitely do leave a like and subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Alrighty. Hello everybody. Welcome back to War Thunder. Today, holy crap, I forgot what I was going to say. Today I will be playing the Dardo, which is an infantry fighting vehicle for Italy. In rank 7, as you can see, folded with the VCC 8030, which I might be making a video on soon. Yes, I do actually have the... Well, I don't actually have it because I'm broke. But I do have the dotted dotted CARC 913 camo on right now in a file form. So, I mean, only I can see it. Moving on, let's go straight into the modifications of the vehicle. As you can you guys can see, it is a 25mm gun that can shoot APFSDS rounds, APDS rounds, and HE rounds as well. APFSDS round gets 92 millimeters of penetration and has an insane fire rate, mind you. You also do get thermal sights. I, I, I don't remember if they are. I think they're Gen 2. You get a laser warning system and laser rangefinder. You get scouting. Tow 2Bs, which are pretty nice. They're, they're the overpressuring tow missile and the tow 2A, which I do not have unlocked. Now, a disclaimer this vehicle does not get aircraft tracking like the 2S38, the Puma, Freccia, and none of that. Along with that, this poor thing does not get commander sights. It's very sad. So, if you want to operate these AT if you want to operate these ATGMs, you're going to have to use your gunner sights. But let's move right into it. This is the gun, a 25mm cannon with 400 rounds of ammunition, a reloading rate of I don't even need to say that. Uh, it is two plane stabilized and it has a firing rate of 560 rounds a minute. Which, if you want to put that into perspective, it has the same fire rate as a Gepard. But the difference between the Gepard and this is that this is an IFE. This gun does get negative 10 degrees of vertical guidance and plus 60, so shooting aircraft out of the sky is not out of question. It's just a little bit di more difficult. You get a singular 762 machine gun right here, which really isn't needed. And you get a whole whopping eight rounds of ATGMs. I usually bring, I'm trying to think of what, how many I bring. I usually bring four and four. So four tow 2Bs, four tow 2s. The Dardo has a, houses an engine with 520 horsepower, pushing you up to 400, 400, 44 miles per hour and 20 miles per hour in reverse. As you guys can see, the gunner optics are two to eight times zoom. So you get a pretty big FOV and you can tighten it down pretty well. Once again, no commander optics, just gunner optics with, I think, generation two thermals. I don't quite remember. Not much more to say about this thing. Um, the armor, yeah, don't get shot. Basically, don't get shot. You're not going to survive. And along with the Dardo, I will be bringing out the Freccia without spike missiles, aka the VBC. Prototype 2, I think that's what it means. And hopefully get some scouting too, because this thing is good scouting. But as you can see, the um, FOV is pretty crazy. It's a very drastic difference in zoom. No idea what that is. Pretty sure that's a Chinese object. That that um squadron vehicle, I think. I I saw this guy first. What is he? Okay, my um missile's little proxy radius didn't uh want to work correctly so and then there is honestly if i were main battle tank i go straight to b i go right where these guys are but because i'm an ife i don't really really know where to go on American Desert. Oh, it's a BMP. Hang on. Right. 
Abrams is dead. Just got a BMP. And that's how you play an IFB, ladies and gents. Shoot the barrel, shoot the track, kill them. Or wait for them to be killed as well. Man, I'm really hoping that the more I record, the better I get with commentary, because I'm, oh, I'm so, oh, so quiet. That it gets no, uh, Holy crap, I survived that. Um, get some commander site. Uh, while it's brother vehicle, I guess you could say the VCC 8030 does in fact get a commander site, and you don't have to poke your head up to shoot at ATGM. There we go, finally got him. Had to whittle his crew down. Um, yeah, you, you cannot, if, if you want to, you can stop. I don't know why people get mad at that. Like, you're the one that pit maneuvered me. I can't control that. It's your, <laughs> it's your fault. Ooh. Uh, uh, try not to get shot challenge. This is not a good spot for me because I can't really advance anywhere. Oh. But I can do this. And I just saved that <laughs> SU-25. I sure hope he's happy. Oh, 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 hang on. This is actually good. First target. Oh, I tried to move. All right, back at it again. I took a break from recording. Let's go. Honestly, dude, Italian IFVs just, there's just something about them that just, I don't know, make me happy. I really like these things mobility too, like, nice, oh, oh. Oh, that CTCV just ate. All of my, <laughs> all of my rounds. There is a KPZ right in front of me, and then there is something else. It sounds Abrams-ish. It might be an XM1. I knew I heard somebody. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.